Hi guys, it's me Nora Pets. So we're shooting for the cover here at the Western Himalayas for Global Spot India and we're so excited because the pictures look outstanding. It's such a resort vibe. My team really killed it with the hair and makeup and the styling and even the photographer is outstanding. We used a lot of natural lighting so the pictures look brilliant. Well, my experience shooting for the film Murgao Express was actually outstanding. It's one of my best experiences on a film set. Um, not only was I, you know, getting a chance to learn from great actors like Pratik Gandhi, Divindu and Avinash, but even to be directed by Kunal Kemu, who's also such a brilliant actor, really changed my perspective. Um, and it really allowed me to put a lot of effort and time into my craft. Um, I think the, the experience on set was just so great, um, no complaints there. But even the experience post the film releasing with the f all the response that we've been getting and everything's been so positive. And you know, me even being noticed um, for my performance has been very, very humbling. All of them, I don't think I need to choose um, because I, my heart is in every department that I do, whatever, I, whatever hat I'm donning, I put my best foot forward I you know make sure that our work ethics is top-notch and it's something that I enjoy doing I think because I'm just so multi-dimensional multifaceted even within my personality when I don these different hats I I'm like full-on you know so I love doing everything um it's I mean it's been it's been an interesting experience um, because of that I managed to use it to my advantage to push myself further um, and to use it as a drive and a fire to keep wanting to prove myself every step of the way um, and as I keep growing and as I prove myself further people in the industry do um, you know appreciate it and do um, you know compliment me and eventually slowly slowly I start working with more people in the industry but I'm glad that that's the kind of journey that I've had because um, if I had things easy if they came easy to me and everything was on like a silver platter I don't think I would have had the fire that I had before and I still have today so it's like an ongoing fire and that's what makes me do almost the impossible and even do things that I never imagined I could be able to do. The secret is just being true to yourself, being true to your craft, um, working really hard. The audience really does see authentic authenticity. They see when someone is really doing things with good intentions, especially their work, um, and making sure whatever you're doing to try and be the best at it. If not the best, but um, outstanding at it you know it should be aspirational people should see you and want to be like you want to emulate you um, and that's kind of what I strive towards whenever I'm doing anything in the industry whether it's singing dancing performing on stage judging acting but I try to bring a different flavor to everything that I do so that it gives a sense of aspirational um, vibes and, and that's why that's what I think that's the reason why I feel like the audience loves me because they see it and they're like, oh, we want to be like that too, we want to do that too. And it even goes down to presentation, like how you dress and how you speak. So um, I take note of all of that stuff. But yeah, like I said, like audience really does, they can tell who's real and who's not, so. Particular work, I don't know, man. They all like, they all have value in, different ways like of course Dilbert because that's what put me on the map you know and it was like where the explosion happened so that's always going to be so dear, dear to my heart that whole experience just everything about that project um, and how it was like such an unexpected moment like nobody expected that to happen and for me I feel like it just proves to everyone that dreams do come true and to have faith in God like it's it's just one of the most un, unexpected moments and everyone says that and and I feel like 
I'm like, yeah, you know? <laughs> so that's like one moment that's really close to my heart. I'd say like when I got to perform at the World Cup, FIFA World Cup in Qatar, um, at the closing ceremony and like I sang the anthem, that was also like a moment that was so close to my heart. Um, and I'd say like right now with Madgao Express releasing and you know, I was in the cinema watching everyone watch the film and reacting and laughing to certain moments and m being able to shine amongst great actors also is something really special for me and it's a huge deal for me. So that's also really close to my heart. It's too many moments, we'd be here forever. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie, everyone knows I'm not someone who's like gymming every day and I have this like fitness schedule because I'm constantly working um, and I'm doing so many things. I'm mainly in a flight more than anywhere else, but I do find dancing helps me stay fit and it keeps me like vibrant, energetic. So dancing really helps. Um, and whenever I get the chance, I do a lot of swimming. Swimming has really helped me keep toned and like keep my abs in place. So yeah. <laughs> well, see, I'm really big on having like clear skin and like really nice skin. And I find that when I drink a lot of water and I stay hydrated, um, it's hard to remember to drink water, but like I tried and hammer it in my head. Like, no, we gotta drink water. It really helps me maintain clean skin. Um, and a lot of people always ask me, oh, what's this your skin secret? And it's really to keep stay hydrated for sure. I, well, it depends which screen you're talking about. If you're talking about your, your phone screen, like social media, that's me, okay? <laughs> Definitely. Um, crazy, funny, um, silly at times sometimes super quiet like when I'm working too much like I can get really overwhelmed so then I just switch off and I don't even want to talk to anybody you know so <laughs> that could be me too but when I'm in a good mood like I like to make everyone laugh um, and yeah just good vibes <music> what I was in 2018 after the release of Dilbar definitely after the release of Dilbar it followed up with um, my role in Batla House, which was with the song Saki. And then they, all of that happened in 2018. And then Garmi with Street Dancer and then my role in Street Dancer. That's when I was like, okay, I'm here to stay and I'm not going anywhere. And now I have to prove to everyone that I'm not going anywhere. So yeah. Oh my God, there's so much happening. Uh, where do I begin? I have another film I'm looking forward to called Be Happy with Abhishek Bachchan Sir, um, which Ramo D'Souza has directed. I'm really looking forward to that film because it's just a different vibe, the genre, um, the way I've been presented in the film, the story. Everything is just so, so beautiful. And I love me a good family-friendly film. So this is a family-friendly film. And I have a really cool song in that film, which I'm also excited about. Um, I'm also doing a South film called Matka, which I'm excited about because it's like a period film. It's a different zone altogether. It's with Varun Tej. That's really exciting. Um, I've also signed my first global record deal with Warner Music. Um, and we'll be working on my album, my international music. So I'm super excited about that because it's just going to be so different. Um, I'm going to evolve as a performer. Yeah, my stay at the Western has been really nice. I've been relaxing, loving the hot tub that's outside my room because the water is nice and warm. Um, but yeah, good vibes. Global Spa, I love their aesthetics. I love their covers. They always manage to have really nice covers. And I love how um, they get to break down, um, you know, wellness and just the spa life for all the readers. You know, I love me a good spa. So good recommendations on the magazine.